What's going on and welcome to the FanDuel. Hurry up, my name is Tom Vecchio. The big game is here and I'm set to bring you three DFS options for your lineups. Let's jump in. Starting off with the quarterback of the Cincinnati Bengals, Joe Burrow, $15,000. He's slightly cheaper compared to Matt Stafford. Also, not expecting him to be as popular as Matt Stafford, which is always good when it comes to a tournament perspective. When we look at the Rams defensively this season, at least in the postseason, they're only allowing 54 rushing yards per game which puts Joe Mixon in a very, very tough matchup, which means we could see the Bengals leaning on the passing game more and more, especially as the game goes on. So if the rushing game is not going to be effective for the Bengals, we're going to see Joe Burrow out there, 35, 38, 40 plus passing attempts, giving him a nice ceiling to reach for. So starting off, loving Joe Burrow for that potential upside. Next up, Van Jefferson of the Los Angeles Rams, only $7,000, bringing that needed salary relief into your lineups, helping out with roster construction overall, which we know is so important when it comes to single game DFS. Obviously, he also won't be as popular as Cooper Cup or Odell Beckham for the Rams. Throughout the regular season, we saw Van Jefferson with a 13.47 A dot, that's average depth of target. Getting downfield plenty, we often saw him breaking off these big 40, 50, 60 yard receptions, a player that can reach or exceed value really in one big play. So I love the salary on him. I love the big play potential for Van Jefferson, and obviously not as popular as their top two passing options. And then finally, another player for a bit of salary relief, CJ Uzama at $7,500, the tight end for the Cincinnati Bengals. We're under the assumption that he will be good to go after suffering this knee injury a couple of weeks ago. He was at the sending away party and he took off his knee brace, which is obviously a good sign. In the first two games of the postseason, when he was fully healthy, he had 14 targets in those two games. That was, you know, extending a streak that he had at the end of the regular season, which was six plus targets in six of the final seven games. So he's a consistent option for the Bengals in their passing offense, you know, specifically when they get to the red zone. So 7,500 for Uzama should be a solid option this weekend. All right, so that does it for the hurry up. We will be back next week bringing some NBA action. You can follow me on Twitter at DFS underscore Tom. Until next time, good luck in your contest.